Um, what we're going to talk about this morning is the whole area of digital marketing and social networking. Uh, this is an area which is developing. Um, let's see. Okay. Hi, Yasmina. Um, we, well, I have that. That's good. Thank you. Um, we'll talk about this morning the idea of digital marketing and social media. And as I was saying, there's a, um, this is an area which is currently developing. Um, of course, it's been around for 10 or 15 years in different ways, but the technology here is developing so quickly that it's um, very likely that the way things are done tomorrow or in three or four years will be very different than what's done today. The toolkits, what's available, how it's utilized, all of those things will be quite different going forward than they are today. And so consider this particular discussion more of a sampling of what things are like now um, and that that is all likely to change and that the, from your from the perspective of, of your of this class um, you're the ones when you get out into the workforce and start developing this uh, technology and these ideas further you're the ones that are really going to shape how most or much of this um, this aspect of business plays out and um, it is radically changing the way commerce works in the US and around the world as you probably know but it's uh, it's quite stunning for someone who's been like me who's been around for a long time how much more quickly things are changing the last five years than they have been in the 20 or 30 years before that they always change but they're rapidly uh, rapidly progressing now in all sorts of new directions. So this first part, we'll talk a little bit just about this idea of the growth and some of the general benefits associated with social media. Then we'll move more specifically into some different areas like social networking and the like. But just in terms of getting us started from an overview perspective, one of the, the terms that people use are things like e-business, which is electronic business, which is what that simply means is using your smartphone, using your PC, uh, using the, the electronic connections that have been developing um, to do business over the internet and other uh, and Wi-Fi and things like that. And what what's carried across those is called digital media, meaning bits and bytes across that go across the internet that carry information and also content. That we, um, that we have come to expect and appreciate and use all the time. Um, and the other term that to keep in mind is this notion of digital marketing, which is like online type social media marketing. They call it digital marketing because of course, traditionally marketing had been things like um, developing uh, focus groups and that sort of thing where there were personal interactions. And a lot of that whole idea is being digitized in ways that are quite surprising to those of us, like I said, that have been around, but also that really offer real potential to change even more and, and more rapidly into the future. So these are just some of the ideas to be thinking about and considering. Um, some reasons that social media has developed so quickly uh, are shown here on this chart. For example, the fact that you're able to identify and make and specifically talk to and address customers before they actually make the purchase. It's not an anonymous situation. Oh, it still can be anonymous, but it's not a uh, where it, it's sort of like behind in blinders or whatever that you're trying, you put your advertisements out there and people buy them and you don't know who they are and what their issues and questions are. Now with digital media companies, things like they call cookies, which are, are pieces of software code that ride on your computer. Uh, so whenever you're searching, they know what you've been looking at and you'll get notes saying people are buying this book or whatever. And it turns out it's a book that you uh, 
that you have looked at before because they know you've looked at it before. There's interactivity. It's more of a dialogue. You look, they comment, send information. You look some more, they comment some more. Um, all those kinds of things make, make this situation with digital marketing um, more broadly available. You could have interactivity at a store with one particular sales clerk, for example, but that person might not have the information that you need. In the digital world, you can get information from an absolute expert. You can know as much as anybody else. Accessibility is also the idea that it's easy to get information. If you're deciding to buy a particular product, you can do a lot of searching and understand that, that product and that whole product category um, much more easily and better. You have connectivity. Consumers can talk to consumers, not only through like reviews that people put on, on uh, the internet, but when you're deciding to buy something, you can talk through social media, through Facebook or Instagram about what you're trying to think about purchasing and get some feedback from, from trusted friends about what works and what doesn't work. And that trusted friends network could extend quite broadly to people that you haven't even really met before but who do indeed have, who you do indeed have um, information from, or you um, who, who have some trust in what you're, you have trust in them because they're not part of the company. And then of course, you also have lots of controls because you know what information is being read and reviewed. So you know what somebody knows and what they don't know. And so the, the notions, the ideas that come out of this uh, digital marketing are, in a lot of ways revolutionary to how business works you don't necessarily need to focus on a sales clerk to be fully aware of or fully understanding of what the product features are because someone could just go online and get that information even while you're standing in the store this is the the revolution that's coming about uh, from this notion of from these ideas and these technologies from digital marketing um, for example the benjamin moore has does uh, paint color selection. So you could be in your house and looking at the walls and compare colors. Um, and because the, the um, rendering of colors is so good on, uh, on smartphones and the like, you can, um, you can compare and choose your colors like that. In fact, I had mentioned that uh, a speaker that's coming to the class this week uh, does this uh, interaction of the user experience and she has worked on these kind of paint, this paint matching um, application. In fact, the one for Benjamin and Moore, the one that's described here. So she um, she understands, or she has, she works in this whole area of using these new technologies to enhance the user experience and integrate it into a real life um, a real life activity. Is anybody not seeing a slide, or is that only Pooja? Could you raise your hand if you do not see a slide? Okay, I, um, Pooja, I think it might be your PC. Hopefully it's, it's corrected or not. I don't know. If you're still having a problem in a few minutes, let me know and we'll move on. Okay, so let's now talk.